हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बिज इनो वेट आई एम नीरज दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट कंप्लीट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डायनामिक्स 365 सेल्स मॉड्यूल सेल्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन फॉर ऑल ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस अपार्ट फ्रॉम गुड स्ट्रेटजीज इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव गुड टूल इन हैंड टू मैनेज योर कंप्लीट सेल्स लाइफ साइकिल सो डायनामिक्स 365 सेल्स इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट टूल for this today in sales module we learn how to set up trial lead management product catalog management pricing methods opportunity management sales life cycle goal management sales forecasting sales with power bi sales with outlook app sales copilot sales copilot with outlook sales copilot with teams Sales app is a powerful power platform app. As per business requirement, modifications are also possible in this app with the help of power platform. Let's start our learning journey from here. How to create Dynamics 365 free trial with personal email ID? You can see options over here for sales, service, marketing, customer data platform. commerce finance operations business central supply chain and human resources the procedure to create trial is same for every product so let me start for sales let me click on try for free here i am going to give my personal email id by using work email id or corporate email id is quite easy to create but when you use personal email id you have to do some extra steps you notice that it asking me some extra information as i entered my personal email address when you enter your email id abcd to be size I suggest you choose US as country because many times all of the features are not available in all the regions. And also preview features come first journey in US. You can see that sales trial is available to you now with your email ID. please also note if you click on sales trial if you type sales over here you also find sales hub which contains more feature than sales trial please note that when you create sales trial with personal email address all of the functionality may not be available to you for example conversational intelligence is not available so so far we have learned how to create sales trial with personal email id lead management and we going to cover following topics in this video how to create lead how to qualify lead duplicate detection rules routing rules predictive score models and who knows whom and in last lead to opportunity sales process so let's start with our demonstration we are going to learn how to create new leads click on new Uh, is it to create lead second way is go to activities if you have an email there is option a uh, converting email to lead third way is if you have lot of leads in csv file you can also import those leads into system
now we are going to learn qualification process of leads open the lead you will see a button over here qualify once you click qualify on lead it generate three items contact account and opportunity by default based on the name it create contact based on the company name it create account and based on the name of the topic it create opportunity click on this one you can see now we have opportunity with this topic and this contact but sometime based on organization need we have to change this behavior so go to settings how to create records for newly qualified leads disable this now if you qualify this lead it will show you dialog box like this now it's your choice to create a account or not similarly for the contact and opportunity like in this case we says do not create contact only create opportunity now we are going to discuss duplicate detection in leads there are two ways to configure duplicate detection in leads one is via power platform you can enable or disable at organization level you can define rules for leads for example this says lead with the same email address it means if two leads have same email address it will treat as duplicate lead we also have settings for the duplicate detection in the sales hub sales app settings here we comes duplicate detection so here using machine learning model ai work on the duplicate detection based on the following rules it is highly recommended to use this option for the sales hub instead of relying on the power platform let's play with this setting now now we creating second lead with same email address okay. as email address is same it will identify this as duplicate so we have option to ignore the lead or we can merge both the leads keeping the common data in between let's say we want to keep lead 1 and we want to take company data of lead 2 to lead 1 merge records now we have lead 1 and data of company copied from lead 2 to lead 1 now we are going to discuss lead assignment rules 
by default the person who create lead become the owner of lead for example in this lead is a owner but as per the requirement of organization sometimes need to be allocated to different sellers for this thing automation is possible sales insight settings assignment rules here you can make new rule and options for segments or for all leads specific people specific teams we can define round robin and load balancing are very famous distribution techniques in earlier days we used to write code for this but now it is inbuilt so you can try out yourself with various options and enjoy the different kind of assignment rules for the lead allocation now we are going to discuss predictive lead scoring models let's open this lead you will see lead score over here so in dynamics we have machine learning models which based on the historical data of leads can predict the lead score lead score is between 1 to 100 so how this lead score comes basically based on different attributes in lead and the associated content or account is monitored and the score is provided for example in this case it's saying purchase time frame is this quarter if we click over here yeah it's mentioned over here decision maker identified yes annual a revenue is above average so notice that based on different attribute values it define lead score this box shows you only five items if you want to see more items which are the reason behind the score you can click on details if you want to know more about lead score you can click on about it will show you how it works a sales person is good to have idea of this higher the score means there is higher probability of winning this lead and converting into opportunities if admins are not very happy with the score they can modify the model but for that you have to have knowledge of little bit of ai and machine learning training and testing data so how a admin will configure the rules further predictive lead scoring more is the historical data better is model to train so here admin can do settings and can modify the model and publish again for the improvement in the model sometime this widget is not visible on the lead form so you can customize the form and bring over here this is known as lead score widget now we are going to discuss who knows whom when you work with lead it is always good to have some connect which can introduce to lead so this box shows colleagues who already have done some communication with the lead information in this box is based on the email and the meetings that your colleague have done with the lead earlier now we are going to discuss sales process 
every organization have lot of sellers. It is good practice that all sellers follow the same practice of nurturing the leads. In dynamics, for leads, there is an out of box sales process known as lead to opportunity sales process, which are different items. This sales process can be used by different sellers in most effective way. In case your organization want to modify the sales process or want to apply a new sales process that is also possible. How? We go to makepowerapps.com, go to default solution, you will find the process. This process lead to opportunity sales process. We can modify this one. Let's say in bracket I put my name. You can see the modification. Ideally, it is good practice to use out of box lead to the sales process, but as per your requirement, you can do modification as well. We are going to cover product families, unit groups, price list and price list items, products discounts, product bundles and related products for upselling and cross-selling. So let's jump to demo. For setting of product catalog, first of all, we will going to talk about product families. Go to sales, click on app settings, go to catalog, family and products. With the help of product families, we can categorize the products. Under product families, we can have more product families, we can have products and we can have bundles. For purpose of demonstration, we have already defined some product families. You can see this is a fun and eat root level product family. Under this, we have defined food and toys to product families further. Click on this. Name and ID are mandatory stuff. One more thing, in product families, we can define product properties which are required by all the child entities. Click on food, properties, like we have defined a property over here, shelf life. Any product which will come under this family will have this property by default. We can also see family hierarchy by clicking on this icon. Like this diagram showing fun and eat is root level product family under which we have another family food. Which further have four products.
other family is toys which don't have any product as of now so after defining families we have to define unit groups what basically are unit groups unit groups are made for measurements of the products for example liquid we measure in 2 liters and gallons rice nuts we can measure into kilograms similarly few items like apple orange mango we can count by numbers so each group have multiple units so let's go through unit groups now like we have liquid unit groups over here under which we have units liter and gallon gallon is 3.8 liters other is default unit here single item one doesn't means 12 of single unit so far we have defined product families and unit groups now let's move to products now first of all let's see we have a product over here banana as you notice unit group and default unit are mandatory fields this is the reason we define unit group and units before the product decimal supported some countries have three decimals in currencies like oman you notice this property came from product family because this product is under family food similarly we can define other products as well so we have defined apple and banana two products for demonstration so far after defining family unit groups and products now we'll focus on price listing so what is price list basically every installation every organization have some base currency like in our case usd is base currency but organization can do transaction into multiple currencies so they have to define one base currency and multiple transaction currencies for each currency we can have multiple price list for example we have defined retail for retail customers wholesale for bulk buying customers so you notice that we have multiple price listing for each currency let's go to retail under price list items we are selling banana as single unit and we charging 1 dollar for this we selling banana in dozen as well and we charging 12 dollar for this similarly we are selling apples in single unit and dozens and few other items over here in wholesale price list we are selling apple in dozens banana in dozens we are not selling into single units so here we charging 10 dollars for dozen whereas we were charging 12 dollars for banana for a dozen in the retail price list
so you notice that we are charging different amount for different items under different price listings so we can categorize customers and can sell at different price for different categories different territories and all so far we have defined family unit groups products and price listing now it's time to sell let's make a new opportunity Let's choose price list. Revenue. It have two option. System calculated means pricing will come from the price list. Second option is user provided means you can put manual price. This is known as quick create opportunity product. It is a classic way of adding product to opportunities. Now we have more enhanced view as well. So let me enable that. Go to product catalog settings. And enable the enhanced experience for adding products. Let me enable it. Now you can see we have enhanced view to find the products. The benefit is you can select multiple items all together. I am adding banana, single unit and apple as well. As we are in detail price listing, so we are getting the price for Retail. Let me add more products. So you can also see, and then you show item in the different families like this way. Recently used. When we have a product under price list, known as a standard product. Sometimes we also need to sell some product ad hoc. In that case, we have writing products like for example, <coughs> you can see. Let's assume now we want to modify the pad list. Add product. Now you can see this interface modified as per the price list. Dozen 10. Now a Dozen of banana is costing me ten dollars instead of twelve, which was the price for the retail. You also notice there is a discount of one dollar, so amount is coming at nine dollars. So how discount came? We're going to cover under discount lists. So I hope you understand how to work with price list and price list items. Let's go back to try list again. When we define price of a price list item, in this demo session, we have used pricing method currency amount. Q 
Now let's move to discounts. <clears throat> let's assume for new year we're planning to have some discount. Under discounts we have discount types. Like if you buy 1 to 10 item discount is 10 percent. When you buy 11 to n number of items discount is 20 percent. When you create a discount you have two options of discount types. One is by percentage and one is by amount. In our demonstration we are using percentage. We go to price list under wholesale under items for banana for dozen we have discount if somebody buy a banana under wholesale they'll get a discounts you notice that here discount is provided to banana and a dozen for the wholesale now we are moving to a more advanced topic which is the product bundles so let me describe you first what is product bundle? When one of your product is selling fast, other is not moving so fast. We can bundle these two product together and try to sell together. Sometimes we also make product bundles depend on the user needs. Like for example, camera plus tripod. A bundle can have two or more products. Let's jump to bundles. Family and products. Active bundles. So we have defined a health bundle. It's under the parent food. This health bundle under the default price list of the retail. Under bundles, we have two products. Banana two dozens, apple, two single units. And for bundle, we can also have separate pricing as compared to individual products. Like for this, single bundle is costing $20 to customer, which is a little cheaper price as compared to individual products. So bundle is not visible, reason being we have chosen wholesale. If we choose retail, save it, now bundle is available. Sometime customer want to choose products which are not under the price list and go back to wholesale see bundle is not here so we can do that we can request admin under product catalog settings we have option make price list optional now this opportunity have no price list i click on add products i can see all the products irrespective of the price list. I can see we have health bundle dollars in which we have 
टू डजन ऑफ बनाना एंड टू सिंगल यूनिट ऑफ द एप्पल्स आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द लॉजिक ऑफ द बंडल नाउ वी मूव टू आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक विच इज द रिलेटेड प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर एप सेलिंग एंड क्रॉस सेलिंग we have a product pineapple under additional details we'll see product relationship so when we define relationship it asks you what kind of relationship cross sell upsell accessory or substitute like in this case we have defined cross sell it means when somebody sell apple it will recommend pineapple and when somebody sell pineapple it will recommend apple so let's test feature of the related products under opportunities apple click on suggestions we can see pineapple over here for cost sell add to list now we can see pineapple added over here which is helping us in cross selling and up selling the products topic is pricing methods we have product gold ring which we selling into single units in wholesale price list see we have entered this product into wholesale for 10 usd if i go to price list single unit pricing method currency amount 10 usd it is simple let's assume now we want to have a different pricing method we have defined standard cost 10 usd current cost 12 usd and list price 16 usd now see what happens when we use different pricing methods percent of list Rounding policy, none as of now. Since the list price is sixteen, this price coming seventeen point six, which is the ten percent on top of sixteen. Seventeen point six. Let's also talk about rounding policy. If I say up. Oops. It is eighteen. If I say down, and then it is seventeen. So I trust it is clear to you. What is the meaning of? percent of list second is percent markup and current cost so current cost is 12 percent 10 so amount is coming 13.20 similarly percent markup and standard cost
10 is standard cost so it is coming 11 percent margin and current cost is coming 13.33 how come 10 percent of 13.33 is 1.33 so 13.33 minus 1.33 is equal to 12 similarly percent margin and standard cost 11.11 .11. Ten percent of eleven point one one is one point one one. This minus one point one one is ten. So this is standard cost. I trust now all pricing methods and rounding policy is clear to you thank you we are going to cover different operations that we do on opportunity opportunity sales process pipeline view kanban view and focus view let's jump to demo this is sales sub application and now we starting our demonstration with the opportunities how to create opportunities click on opportunities click on new save more is information available better is chances to win the deal other way to create opportunities let's go to activities open any email we have option to convert email to opportunity you can see that this opportunity is created from the activity once you have a opportunity in hand, you can interact with the customer and gather more information. More information, better is the chances to win the deal. On opportunity form, we can see the various items, various attributes are here like contact, budget, purchase time frame, process and various other things. You can also customize the interface based on your customer need with the help of the customizer you can see over here opportunity score this is known as predictive opportunity score widget you can see score is 78 the score is between 1 to 100 this score is dependent on attributes of the opportunity or the associated contact or account you can see this widget show top five factors either negative or positive which define this value for example purchase time frame is immediate mm, you can go over here this thing similarly these items define this score and these items can change over time and score can differ stakeholders stakeholder means the people from the customer side who are involved in the communication with the seller for this opportunity you can have one or more stakeholders sales teams sometime apart from the owner other sales people also work in this opportunity so sales team can have one or more team members means all team members who are working on this opportunity are users who have some role in the opportunity so so far we have discussed few attributes on the opportunity main form now we proceed to our next step you can see on opportunity we have sales process 
which have some their attributes. It is default sales process. We can also modify the sales process and we can also make more sales process as per the organization need. In each stage, we have different attributes which you can fill as you get information from the customer side. These are known as stages. You can also say pipeline phases. Like in my demonstration, I also prepared one more sales process. Sales process. Which is same as previous sales process. Only difference is if my budget amount is And see one more step over here so you can modify sales process as per need in coming topics of pipeline view i'll put more focus the importance of sales process stages in the pipeline report when you work with the opportunity the ultimate aim is to win the deal when i say win the deal means you have to close as one click on close as one This is known as close opportunity form. Actual revenue, close date. We define competitor in case you lost the opportunity. Description. In case because of any reason you lose the opportunity, in that case you have to close the opportunity as lost. Whether you close as one, close as lost, you have to fill close opportunity form, which is mandatory. On this form, there are by default five fields, but the customization of this form is possible for which we have to do some settings. So let me show you our setting to you. Custom field on closing form. Once admin enable the setting from here, customizer can place more attributes on closing form. So, so far we have covered how to create opportunities and how to close them. Now let's move to our next topic. Now we have many opportunities in hand, but you can see this view is more textual, more tabular. If we get more graphical views, we can generate more values to win more deals. Let me go to settings, advanced settings, customization, opportunity. Controls, let me choose pipeline view for web, phone and tablet. Save. Publish. Let me refresh my screen. Opportunities. 
show as you can see pipeline view. So here you can see we have a pipeline view. On left side we have estimated revenue and bottom we have estimate close date and the circle means score 86. So every opportunity have some predictive opportunity score 86 bigger circle 84 55 59 see these different parameters can be modified as per the need of organization similarly we have sales funnel over here if you notice carefully these are different four stages of the sales process that we discussed earlier. Let me go back to this. You can see qualify, develop, propose and close are four different stages of the sales process. Here these are the these four same stages that is the reason we also know these four stages as pipeline phases let me go back to settings <coughs> opportunity pipeline view in case you want to modify something in this bubble chart let's say here when you you want to see probability save publish Similarly, in case you say you want to hide funnel chart, publish, refresh, see funnel chart is not available now. You want to hide deal tracker, you want to enable funnel chart and you need to modify further and you want to maybe sort by finish to start now it's showing close propose develop and qualify and each of the phase will show you estimated revenue in each phase so, so far we have discussed about pipeline view. Now we move to our other view which is the Kanban view. So this is the Kanban view. In Kanban view, we have two options. We can see by business process flow. As I mentioned, in opportunities, we have a default sales process known as sales process. And we can also make our own sales process like I have defined V2 sales process. In Kanban view 
where it can only use default sales process. So you can see qualify, develop, propose and close. So these are known as swim lanes and these are the opportunity cards. We can also move cards from here to there like for example I want to move from qualify to develop. I can do that. Similarly, in status one, like all the opportunity have three kind of status, either open, one or lost. So we can also move here from one swim lane to other swim lane. Like for example, I want to move this opportunity from open to one. I want to move this to lost so these are different kind of views that we discuss in pipeline view we can see things from different point of view in kanban view we can see things from different point of view so these are different suitable views for different kind of sellers to proceed further now we're moving to our third view which is the focused view So this is the focus view. It means here your focus is on not graphical is more about interacting with the opportunity in terms of data. So if you click on any opportunity, it show complete form over here. So your focus is just on work, just on activity you perform. It's less graphical, more textual, but just focus on the more data components. So, so far we have discussed how to create opportunities, how to close opportunities as a win or loss, how to work with the sales process, how to see data in different formats and different views like Kanban view, pipeline view and focus view. Thank you. Sales life cycle. An ideal sales life cycle starts from leads and finishes at invoice. Let's jump to demo and see how it progress. We are starting our video with creation of a new lead. We have defined first name, last name, company name, and topic. Let's save the lead. Click on qualify. Now we have three options. Account yes, contact yes, opportunity yes. We can choose yes or no based on our organization requirement. Okay. Now we can see we have opportunity with same topic. Contact name. If I click on this contact, this is the account. So we got first name, last name, account name, all information from lead.
now we will work on this opportunity we are going to add some products in this opportunity Let's assume now customer want quote for this opportunity. In that case, we can create quote form here itself. Please notice it have auto allocated quote ID and revision ID is zero. And product copied from opportunity to quote initially quote in draft stage so we need to activate the quote to share with the customer let me activate the quote suppose you share this quote with the customer and customer wants some revision in pricing or something else in that case we can revise the quote Let's say you want to offer discount of 2%. You can activate the code. Now price is 490. See, refer code is based on this opportunity. If you click on opportunity, if I go to quotes, the quote that was for $500 is closed and $490 is active now. From quote, we can also create order. So, because this quote is based on an opportunity, it's going to ask you whether you want to close the opportunity or you want to keep it open. Fine. Now we got this order. Once you have order with you, you can fulfill the order. Then click on fulfill order. You may get option of complete or partial. Please notice that when we go to quotes, we get the option of create order. Sometime in case your system is customized and your CRM is integrated with some order processing system or ERP, you may see submit order option. In that case, your order will go to that system for processing. Once you have order, you can also invoice. So let me show you one more option over here, price locked, yes. So let's assume I go to laptop, now make it price 700. I came back to invoice. I say choose current pricing. In that case, pricing will be revised. Now showing $700 and pricing lock no. Once you have invoice, you can cancel invoice or can mark on the invoice paid. complete and partial. At order level, at invoice level, system can behave in different way. If system is customized, as many of the guys 
इंटीग्रेट ईआरपी और अदर ऑर्डर प्रोसेसिंग सिस्टम्स विद सीआरएम तो सो फार वी हैव सीन हाउ टू वर्क विद लीड मेक अपॉर्चुनिटीज फ्रॉम लीड देन वी क्रिएट कोड देन वी मेक ऑर्डर्स एंड इनवॉइसिस थैंक यू वीडियो ऑफ गोल मैनेजमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न गोल्स गोल मैट्रिस रोलअप क्वेरीज एंड अदर ऑप्शन तो लेट्स जम्प टू डेमो एंड सी हाउ इट प्रोग्रेस लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ गोल मैनेजमेंट एज यू कैन सी ऑन माई स्क्रीन वी हैव सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट इन विच वी हैव ए सेल्स मैनेजर एंड टू सेल्स पर्सन सेल्स मैनेजर नीरज इज वर्किंग ऑन अपॉर्चुनिटी वन एंड टू Steve working on three and four, and John working on five and six. Now I am going to show you goal management in software. So I am using Dynamics three sixty five Sales Hub. Let's go to Opportunities. Goal view. So you can see Op one, Op two by Neeraj, Op three, four by John, five and six. by steve so in total there are six opportunities two of each all six are open and they have some estimate close date and some estimate revenue so all the six opportunities are open and none of them is closed when i say close either lost or won so now we start working on goals based on these opportunities go to app settings go to goal new goal sales in goal i come to parent goal later on goal owner so team level goal i am assigning neeraj as goal owner who is the sales manager when i say goal owner means the person responsible for achieving targets as per the goal manager it means the person who is managing the overall management of goals like editing setting targets and etc now we go to goal matrix by default in goal matrix we have three options number of product units revenue and number of cases these three options are available by default which you can use as per your business requirements and you can also make new goal matrices like for example option 1 and 2 are more relevant for sales number 3 is more for the number of cases in the customer service for this practical for this demonstration i am using revenue under goal matrix or revenue if i click on this one so we'll continue name revenue matrix type amount amount type money roll of fields please see roll of fields very carefully so as i mentioned we have six open opportunities so when i say open opportunity open so we have estimate revenue and estimate close date when we close opportunity as one we have actual revenue and actual close date so you can see we have two roll of fields in case required we can add more roll of fields and remove in progress as well so it all so it all depend on your business requirement what to keep what to remove so in this case we have actual revenue and estimate revenue actual close date and estimate close date i go back to journal Seven close. So we have discussed name, goal owner, goal manager, and goal matrix. Time period. See, when we have time period, we have two options: fiscal period and custom period. If fiscal year is defined by your company, your organization, you can choose these options from here. In this demonstration, we are taking custom period.
सो दिस गोल इज फॉर फर्स्ट जून टू थर्टी फर्स्ट अगस्त targets let's assume we have target of 5000 dollars for the sales team child goals i'm going to cover very soon actuals let me click on recalculate so you notice that actually zero in progress is 1200 how come if i go to journal i can see owner is neeraj neeraj have two opportunities both are open and some is 1200 as none of opportunity is closed as one it is zero so now let me make some child goals you have to use a john and steve as john is supposed to achieve this target so it is goal of john so i am assigning honor as john time period copied from the parent goal let's say target is Again, to find for him. If we go back to PPT, we have mentioned that Neeraj is sales manager, Steve and John are sales person. So collectively, all these three guys will work on opportunities and make the money for the department. So in sales team goal, we have two child goals, John and Steve. So again, I go to actuals. We calculate. Actual is zero. This is forty-two hundred. How come? It is sum of all these guys. Now we can explore more options. We have option over here. Goal criteria. Roll up only from child goals. As of now, it is no. If I choose yes. it means it will only choose value from child goals not from the parent goal let me save it we calculate refresh actuals 3000 how come because in this case child are john and steve and sum of all these are 3000 i hope it's clear so far now we have other option over here all when we select all in select setup for roll up and we save it it state us please define the roll up query so here in neeraj we have two customer alex and karla let's make new roll up query Ready for filter? Equal.
records. Notice that in case of Neeraj, there are two customers, Alex and Carla. So if I say potential customer equals Carla, it give me a single row. Let me save and close. And choose me, let me choose query from here. Query for filter. And same here. So please notice that whenever I choose this option all over here in the record set for rollup, it asks me for queries and filter results by query. If I got to recalculate, refresh, I click on actuals, now value is coming 3200. Why so? Because in case of Neeraj, now it only picking the record of Carla, is not picking the record of Alex. And 200 this one and 3000 is this one, 3200. So I hope it's clear so far. We have discussed items in general tab, time period, targets, child goals, actuals, goal criteria. Now go back to next level. You notice that in actuals, actual money is zero. All is in progress. Reason being, all the opportunities are open. Let me close two opportunities. For Steve, one is closed, one is open, and he have achieved one thousand dollars out of two thousand dollars. Same for John, one is open and one is closed. For now, the goals recalculate. Refresh. So Steve have achieved 50%, Steve have achieved 50% and John have achieved 25%. Reason being actually is 500 and his target was 2000. So I hope it's clear so far. Now, now I go to my team goal, department goal. Here, 1500 we have achieved and 1700 is in progress. Let's I go to, let me remove this criteria, save it, calculate, refresh, actuals. You can see, we have 1000, 1200, 1700, 2700 are in progress and actually we have this much. And we have at goal level we have 30% reason being target was 5000. So I hope it's clear to all of you how to use goals, child goals, how to calculate actuals and in progress, what is goal criteria and various other options. We also have option over here to show chart. So we can also refer this chart where it is showing how much Steve, sales team and John is standing in terms of the achievements. Topic is forecasting. A forecast help organizations 
predict how much revenue your sales team will generate in given time frame. Forecasts help you to see the health of your pipeline and see how your sales team is doing against their quota or target. In our demo session, we have sales manager Neeraj and we have two salesperson Steve and John. We have sales sub application. As an admin, I'll go to app settings, I'll go to forecasting and I'll define forecast. So we have three out of box options, org chart forecast, product forecast and territory forecast and we can also create from scratch. In our demonstration, we are going to take org chart forecast. Demo forecast. So see roll up entity and hierarchy entity is pre-filled as opportunity and user as we will see different users holding different opportunities in different stages. We have defined Neeraj as manager, Steve and John as salesperson. So let me go back to here. I define Neeraj over here. Now I'm going to give you quick overview of REST ability apps and I'm going to explain step by step when I show you forecast as a seller. Permissions. To read or adjustment, no other security roles. In case you want for specific roles, you can define over here. Whether sharing allowed or not, you can define over here. I show you this demo session in later part of this demo. Layout. As a salesperson, when you see forecast, what columns you want to see in the grid? And how they're going to calculate as defined over here. For example, for pipeline, you want to define different value, maybe something else over here. So you can do settings of the calculations and visibility at this place. You can apply filters if you wish on data, drill down. So when you want to see data, you want to see account wise or you want to see pipeline phase wise or something else. So I already have two forecasts defined, which I have set for different type of the drill down, which I'll show you as a seller. And the advanced multi-currency Kanban view, I'll show you in the my demonstration as a seller. I'll go back to journal. So by default, we have forecast period as quarterly and monthly financial year. In case you want to modify further as per organization need, you can enable the advanced scheduling. So I have defined data for the two periods of this financial year and current quarter is quarter three. Let me save this one. Activate. Once I activate the forecast, I can upload quota data. Okay, download simple data column template. So see different rows and column predefined. Five, seven, twelve, fourteen. And fifteen, eighteen. Upload. Some of the options. I have not shown you yet, but when I show you forecasting as a seller, I come back to these options and 
demonstrate to you. A forecast is active. A salesperson, I'll go to sales, I go to performance and forecast. I'm going to choose my demo forecast. Yeah, see, Steve and John are under Neeraj. Quota defined over here. This quarter, for other quarter is different quota. This a value we just filled in the our Excel file. So after the same quota, we can see this grid have many columns. All these columns are defined under forecast layout. Which column you want to show, which column you want to hide, how well you could calculate for each column is defined under layout. You notice that we have something like committed, best case, pipeline, how it came. Basically, for all the opportunities, we have filled forecast category. You can choose the best value as per your business requirement. But you cannot choose won or lost because they are done by system itself when you close as won or close as lost. So different opportunities are in different forecast category which being shown over here. Now we come to one more column which is the prediction. As we defined this forecast just now. Prediction column is not available as of now to show some values in this case. So I show you prediction values via some my old forecasts like forecast 1. Prediction value comes based on the your historical data of opportunities. More is data, more accurate is data, better is prediction. If I click on prediction, it will show me prediction from open opportunities, prediction from new and total prediction. Logic behind machine learning model is not exposed to end users, but you can read in about segment how it get generated and what are top factors which influence the this value. In nutshell, we can mention more is data, more accurate is data, better is prediction. This prediction data do not change on the spot, it change after 7 days. Let's assume we have this forecast value, forecast by default is complete plus 1. Let's assume you want to modify the forecast, that is possible. Click over here, 60, indirect 345, calculate 320, I'd say adjustment. Update page. See this symbol? So, value by default was 320. 345 in that adjustment means at lower level somebody done adjustment and become 345. Then we have done the adjustment at that level which is 360. It's possible to reset. And then reset. Original value, but all this permission based. So, let me show you how to set the permissions for this.
here. No additional security role required or maybe for specific roles. We also have option over here, share forecast. This option, if sharing is enabled, share with specific users, you can do from here. We also discuss about drill down. So we click on this place. By default, drill down none. Drill down by FC. FC, uh, let me show you back over here in forecast one. I am defining drilling based on the forecast category, name and FC. So committed one. So for each user is showing amount in different opportunities in different forecast categories. Similarly, I also have one more option I defined. For demo forecast, uh, I have chosen drill down by account. Uh, here I can see by account. Demo forecast. Multi currency enabled and can ban view. Save. Let me refresh. You can see if we have defined multi currencies, we can see currency value over here in USD, in INR. You can choose different quarters from here. Data in Kanban view. If I go back to this place, I say disable. Data in tabular manner. So we have discussed all the major components of forecasting. Thank you. This topic is Microsoft Dynamics 365 sales with Power BI. Let's move to dashboards. In sales hub app, by default, we have these four dashboards. But sometimes sales leaders, sales managers need more dashboards to take better decisions and to take corrective actions. So we can make new dashboard from here, Dynamics 65 dashboard. From here, you can make some basic dashboards, be like this. Very simple. But sometimes we need to have more complex dashboards. So best choice for complex dashboards is Power BI. So how to integrate Power BI with Dynamics CRM? So let's take our demo to next level. So here I have Power BI. We can make new dashboards in Power BI and we can also have some ready-made templates Sales Analytics for Dynamics 65 Sales is ready-made template app. This app is quite useful for sales leaders and sales manager to analyze data in very deeper manner. 
let me install this one. At present, this app is showing sample data. Let us connect this app to our CRM. So here we take the URL of our CRM. Once refresh on. Yes, for organization. As of now, data is sample data, but it's fetching data from our CRM. So this will soon these values will be change. Yes, now we can see data for our CRM. Sales performance, sales leaderboard. Win loss analysis, top one lost details, sales pipeline, and various other dashboards. So you can analyze your data of CRM in Power BI in very effective manner using Sales Analytics for Dynamics 65 Sales App. Go back. Let me update the app. Under permission, I want to give permission to whole organization. Update app. After publishing the app, we'll go to Dynamics CRM. We'll go to Advanced Settings. We'll go to Admin. System settings, reporting, allow Power BI visualization embedding. Yes. Okay. Now you can see we have one more option Power BI dashboards. Click over here. Save it. Now you can see you have this beautiful dashboard from Power BI to our CRM. Now we can see our data of CRM in Power BI and our dashboards of the Power BI in CRM. I hope you like this demo. Thank you. This topic is about Microsoft Dynamics 365 app for Outlook. So let's start our demo. So we have two users Niels and Steve in our environment. Name, email address and both have valid Office 365 E5 license. It means they can send email to each other and outside world very easily. But what happens if these two users are also users of CRM or other Dynamics app? Let's go to Dynamics, Advanced Settings, Security, Users, Neeraj and Steve. So you can see Steve and Neeraj are users in Dynamics and they want to send to email to each other and they also want to send email to outside world and want to receive email from outside. So what to do? How to set up? Apart from this, Steve and Neeraj use Outlook and from Outlook itself, they want to communicate to Dynamics. How to do that? So in this demo session, we're going to learn how to do complete email setup in Dynamics and how to integrate Outlook with Dynamics. So let's move to demo further. 
the first step is setting of server profile go to settings go to admin system settings email here we have to choose server profile exchange online reason being we are using office e5 license incoming outgoing configuration server side synchronization or email router appointment contact task all are the items in the outlook that we can synchronize with dynamics so we have to choose server side synchronization okay step 2 is test email configuration and enable mailboxes mailboxes ms demo ss demo neeraj and steve first step is approve email second is test and enable mailbox since i have already executed this step so i can see success over here else you will see over here not run not run so wait for a few minutes once it becomes success it means all set for step number three step number three is providing security role to these users so that they can use the system properly manage roles and provide Outlook 65 app for Outlook user this role to both users Neeraj and Steve. Step 4 is installing app for Outlook users from the side of admin to all the users or the selective users. You can see we have done all these steps now we have to choose users Neeraj and Steve for whom we want this app to be installed add app to outlook issuing pending sometime it can take 10 to 15 minutes to set up for the success so these are the four steps that we have executed under system settings. Now we go to power platform environment. So this is the environment of our sales trial. Here under Dynamics 365 apps we will see we should have Dynamics 365 app for Outlook. You can install from app source. Now we can see Neeraj added to Outlook. We got notification email because we have done test email configuration and enable mailboxes. Same for Steve. Let's go to Dynamics, Activity, Email,
just hello go to steam yeah see email sent by nearest to steve from crm and received over here so it means set of for email is well defined for our crm system suppose steve has got one email from outside which is not our customer it's a random email we got from somewhere so how to track that email in dynamics let me okay i got a new email from a unknown customer okay so here in this case i click over here i see option here dynamic 65 reason being we have done complete setup and we have installed dynamic 65 f for outlook click over here connecting dynamics to outlook okay so this email is now being tracked in dynamics but in which context you can set set regarding okay Either connect to account, contact, lead, or opportunity. Let's connect to opportunity. Like maybe OP fifteen. New dynamics. So you can see how easy it is to get an email in Outlook and generate contact and link to opportunity in a very simplified manner. So it is a power of Dynamics 65 app for Outlook. The way we have connected our email to Dynamics, same way we can do for other tasks. We can see over here tracked in Dynamics. So it means it being tracked into Dynamics because we have installed Dynamics 65 app for Outlook and they have done the required configuration. Thank you. We will cover how to enable Copilot in Sales, how to use Copilot for opportunity summaries, how to use Copilot for upcoming meeting preparations, and how to use Copilot for drafting emails for the customers. Thank you. The first step in this demonstration is we will log into Power Platform Admin Center. Sales style is name of our environment. Under Dynamics 65 apps, we will check for Copilot. So Dynamics 65 Copilot app is pre installed over here. In case it's not installed, you can install from the app source second step is we will go to make.powerapps.com we'll go to apps and we'll choose our sales hub click edit go to settings see carefully under settings we have upcoming Type Copilot over here. There are two settings Copilot for email and Copilot for chat. Enable both of them. After enabling both the chat option and email option for Copilot, publish the app. Once you do publishing of the app, come back to Sales Hub. Go to opportunities.
please note that copilot is based on nlp nlp stand for natural language processing nlp gives you suggestions based on text data that you already have this is the reason in this opportunity i have filled almost all the attributes in well defined manner i also have provide information of the price listing and products and a few other items like for example have some activities like meeting task and some emails so once you have well defined data in your opportunity you can get more benefit from the copilot click on copilot option click option generate summary so you can see the summary says name of the opportunity customer name few other information items that it picked from the opportunity attributes so more accurate data in your attributes in your activities in your notes better the summary you will get next option that we will see in copilot is prepare for meeting before using that option we have to check that in opportunities and related activities we have enough data of meetings and the past email communication Let's go to copilot prepare for meeting so it picking data from your meetings which are coming up in near future and the data based on the your past email communication with the customers let me draft a new email you can see as of now the compose option is gray out when i click on email compose option become active click on describe email you want best text for customer meeting so copilot suggested me some text about the email that i can use as it is or i can modify as per my requirement please again notice that copilot give us suggestions based on data that we already have entered in system so please define all the major attributes in opportunities let's go back to copilot again you have seen how generate summary and prepare for meeting works get latest news related to account in this case our account is fabricam so copilot will try to find some news for this account by using the bing okay can only generate summary and prepare for the meetings so we have discussed so far how to generate summary for opportunities how to prepare for meetings and how to draft email for the customer sales copilot in outlook so first step is we will go to microsoft 365 admin center we will go to integrated apps option click on get apps find sales copilot sales copilot for microsoft outlook at it now
configuration please notice that it is saying microsoft viva sales reason being microsoft recently rebranded microsoft viva sales as microsoft sales copilot as a admin to which user you want to provide access in my demo session i'm using entire organization provide permissions next finish deployment done after deployment it can take few minutes here it is please notice it's still saying microsoft viva sales as microsoft recently rebranded as microsoft sales copilot is in progress so we have to wait further okay it is fine now now a end user can easily use the sales copilot in the outlook see there's no option like sales copilot over here click on get add-ins click on admin managed and find sales copilot add here now sales copilot for microsoft outlook is available to use for the end users Now you can see we have option of sales copilot over here click on this option please notice that you're getting some options for the copilot describe the email you want please provide me a soft denial email. So Copilot have provided you a draft for the soft denial. If you wish, you can use as it is, or if you wish, you can also modify it further. Reply to an inquiry. Make a proposal. and a second son so you can see copilot is providing you various options in context of this email based on the content of email it will provide you suggestions for the further drafts if your outlook is connected to microsoft dynamics as well you can see more options over here save email to dynamics Maybe in context of some account like so it will save the email in Microsoft Dynamics CRM in context of this account. So here we learned how to install Sales Copilot for Outlook, how to use Sales Copilot with Outlook, and how to connect record to Dynamics CRM. Thank you. Sales Copilot in Microsoft Teams. Our first step is we will go to Microsoft Teams Admin Center. We'll go to Team Apps, Setup Policies, we will add a new policy over here. For purpose of this demonstration, I already created a policy to save our time. My policy. Here I have added Sales Copilot. 
the reason I already added sales copilot over here because after adding an installation changes take place in few hours and to save our time I have skipped this step for you similarly under pin apps I have added sales copilot so at admin level we have done settings for the sales copilot deployment now we move to Microsoft Outlook make a new meeting please watch this step very carefully make sure this option is enabled teams meeting I also tried creating meeting in Microsoft Teams but I notice in that case copilot don't work so make sure you create meeting from Microsoft Outlook and enable this option step 3 is I'll go to my Microsoft Teams I'll tell other salesperson or my customer to log in and to start meeting with me. Before that, I have to cross check whether sales copilot is visible over here or not. In that case, in case it's not visible, you click over here. Choose sales copilot. And save. okay now it's time to start meeting let me join the meeting we have to make sure we have to record and transcribe else summary will not generate with copilot So you notice that we just finished the meeting now we'll go to chat we have to wait for some time here comes you can see notification your meeting summary is ready so in summary we have three tabs recap mention details in details is talk about who were the participants of meeting complete transcript and also recorded version of the call in recap it tried to capture highlights participant talk about company repairing electronic devices it mentioned about Microsoft it mentioned about dynamics other keywords people so it tried to capture some golden words that you can use for your business so more intense is conversation better are highlights under sentiments you can see neutral sentiment and positive sentiments in case customer is unhappy and he use some negative words probably you see negative sentiments over here so this way you can save your time and energy by using the copilot sales summary in microsoft teams thank you let's review what we have covered so far how to set up trial lead management product catalog management pricing methods opportunity management sales life cycle goal management sales forecasting sales with power bi sales with outlook app 
सेल्स को पायलट सेल्स को पायलट विद आउटलुक सेल्स को पायलट विद टीम्स थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो आई होप यू लाइक डिट आई विल बी हैप्पी टू सॉल्व यूर क्वेरीज फर्दर प्लीज मैंशन इन कमेंट बॉक्स और एव माई वेबसाइट विच आई हैव गिवन इन डिस्क्रिप्शन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल टू सी सच डेमोस्ट्रेशन थैंक यू